All right, guys. I want to show you how to uh, disassemble a Sony Vio SBE 17 uh, laptop. Um, first off, what you want to do is get this keyboard out, and you take a plastic pry tool along the upper edge and go all the way around until they all click. And then you could just simply pull this up. And you look underneath, you flip this lever up, and then this big cable will come out. And then the same thing with the small one, if you have a LED uh, backlitted um, keyboard. And that's pretty much all you have to do from up here. Um, if you want to take the uh, motherboard out, you're going to have to remove uh, this cable connection here and the power connection there. And flip it over. Take out your battery. There's three small screws. Take them out. And then go all the way along the outer edge. You take all them screws out. There'll be one here in the middle. You don't have to take the memory modules out or anything. There'll be another one right there. Um, this one here is for the DVD drive. You take that one out. You pull the DVD drive out. For the hard drive, there's a uh, one screw there, and that's it. They go into these uh, little slots, and then it slides forward. That's how you take. <coughs> that's how you take that out. And that's pretty much it. Once you get all the screws out, you just start prying along the edge, the very bottom edge here. And then it just simply pries right off. Real simple. Next, what you want to do, if you're taking the motherboard out, is take out this screw here, that screw there, and these two screws and then disconnect everything uh, you can take the heat sink along with the motherboard if you want but if, not, if not you can simply pull this up and there's three screws here holding the heat sink on then after you get all that off, there is a connection here underneath that you can't get to. So what you're going to have to do is pull up right here and wiggle this out to the right. And there will be a little dowel pin right here that you'll have to get your finger in and lift up, lift up off of it while trying to overcome the connections here as well. It's kind of tricky, but... Uh, It'll come right out. And that's pretty much it, really. I mean, if you're just looking to replace the, um, the jack, the DC jack, two screws here for the hinge, and you have to take the motherboard out as well. And then you got these two screws here. Take them out. Take your motherboard out. And then you'll have full access to that cable because it runs along underneath the motherboard. It would have been cool of them if they would have just put a little access routing or whatever right down here and then maybe a connection right there or something. It would have been a lot easier, but they didn't do that. But that's pretty much it. I mean, and assemble it back the same way you got it out.